Harry Middleman smoked for 35 years. At the very end when I was quitting, it was probably three and a half packs a day. He was also overweight and gained even more weight after he quit smoking. I think the doctor knew it was going to happen, uh, decided that of the two, get off the cigarettes. Among people who stopped smoking, we weren't really sure if that weight gain was harmful or not. Patients and often their doctors are worried about um, patients quitting smoking if they're a little overweight or if they have diabetes because they think maybe they'll cause more harm than good. Doctors James Maggs and Nancy Brigatti from Massachusetts General Hospital and co-authors studied participants in the Framingham Heart Study and followed them over several decades. Researchers measured smoking behavior and weight change among those who never smoked, those who quit smoking within the last four years, and those who quit more than four years ago. These groups were compared to people who continued to smoke. They will benefit by quitting smoking, no matter, even if they're overweight, even if they have diabetes, even if they gain some weight. The study appears in JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. Among people who quit smoking, regardless of the weight gain, they were about half as likely to have a heart attack or a stroke or die from a heart attack over six years of observation. Participants who quit smoking, on average, gained about six to 10 pounds. If you're a current smoker, you'll get a tremendous benefit from stopping smoking. You may gain a little weight, but that won't reduce the benefits of stopping smoking. Just ask Harry, almost 20 years without a cigarette and his weight under control. He credits Dr. Meggs for getting him on the right path. It's not magical. It's something that I did with a lot of help. And right now I can look anybody in the face and say, I'll be around. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.